Hello, my beautiful star seeds. This is Mama Haru. Back again, talking about breaking those chains of deception and sending you hugs and kisses. Now, let me get to my point. I woke up this morning and I came across this idea. It was very interesting to me. It may be interesting to you too. So let's look at it this way. Let's say, for instance, you woke up and everything was unusually quiet, okay? But you don't think too much of it, but you notice there is not the noise that you normally hear when you wake up in the morning. So you go and take your shower, okay? You get dressed. You go to drink your little coffee, your tea, whatever you do in the morning, your little routine. And then you turn the television on. When you turn the television on, you see President Trump. President Trump has a zipper right here. He unzips himself and take his skin and lay it to the side. All you see is a spirit smiling at you. And you're like, what the hell is this? Is this some type of sci-fi? So then you turn the channel and you see commercials. And all the people on the commercial do the same thing. They take the little zipper, unzip themselves, and lay their little skins to the side, and they're all smiling at you. You're like, oh my God, something's wrong with my television said, Let me get out of here. I feel like I'm in the outer limits. Okay, you go and get in your car. You start your car, you look across the street. Your neighbor comes outside the house and do the same thing. Take his little zipper, unzip yourself, take his skin, lay it to the side, and all you see is a smile, a smiling spirit just smiling at you, right? You drive it down the street. You say, oh, need to get some gas. You get out your car. You go to the tailor, you know, to the cashier to pay for your gas. And you know she does the same thing. She unzips herself, take her skin off, lay it to the side. You got people at the gas pump doing the same thing. Unzip themselves, take the skin off, and lay it to the side. And everybody you see unzip themselves, take the skin off, lay it to the side. It's a beautiful spirit just smiling at you. Okay, you get to your job. You walk into the office. People standing around, looking at you, saying good morning. But as they're saying good morning, they take the zipper, unzip themselves, take the scalp, lay it to the side. And everybody is just smiling, just a beautiful spirit. And you're like, ah, I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind. Then you fall on the floor, right? They take a little smell of salt to bring you to. And all you see is a lot of spirits just leaning over you and say, it's okay, it's okay. It was all just a game. You said, no, this is crazy. It can't be a game because I was in the hospital. I had a car accident and I felt the pain. They say you felt the pain because you believe the pain was real. It was all a part of a game. And then you begin to look around. You see what was your mom and your dad and your other siblings. They had all the zip themselves and just spirits standing around you smiling. And then you begin to laugh. And then you start laughing and you keep on, you say, oh my God, this was a game the whole time? And they say, yes. And you created every piece of it. You created it. Well then why did I put myself in the hospital? Well, that's where you met your wife because she was a nurse. You're like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Oh my God. So everything I created was to learn from it. And the spirit said, yes, everything you created was to learn from it. But what happened with you earthlings, you take it to heart. You take everything so seriously, so seriously to the point until you kill each other over land. You kill each other over cars. You kill each other over clothes and over jobs. You kill each other over children when it was all a game. So now you have a chance to start it over. You see what you did. You see what you believed in. Now you see that none of it was true. So now, what game would you like to play next? And you're like, oh my God. So I said that to say this to you, my beautiful star seeds. What if everything that's happening in your life is a game? Not telling you to believe in it. 
I'm not telling you not to believe in it. But if you can change things right now, believing that it's a game, what would you change? What would you make just dissipate? Believe this and remember this. You believing in it is what makes it real. Until next time, here's loving you with the love of the universe. Bye-bye now.